Nick Sandman, or lawyers for Nick Sandman, have filed a $250 million lawsuit against the Washington Post for defamation for the things they said. This is a, the, the this is uh, Nick Sandman is the Covington school kid uh, who was confronted by uh, you know that supposed uh, native elder uh, and was called all kinds of things. We've told that just wearing a MAGA hat was a bad thing, and just and that he had a smirk on his face that made him uh, you know just showed what a bigot he was. He was just absolutely slandered all over the press. They're promising, his lawyers are promising this is just the first suit and there are more to come. And you know, what happens usually is a lot of newspapers get away with saying stuff about people because the Supreme Court uh, has basically decided that you, if you're a famous person, right, or if you are somebody who has injected themselves into a big news story, okay, then they have they can't just say that you they lied about you they have to show that they lied about you maliciously that they they had a reason uh, to really want to destroy you to hurt you they didn't just make a mistake very very hard to prove now personally I think Donald Trump can sue all these people and prove uh, malice but obviously that's not something we want people to do we don't want people suing newspapers because they attack the powerful even if they're wrong I mean even if their their stories are just you know like it's just bias like CNN or New York Times or the Washington Post or ABC or, you know, NBC or basically everybody, uh, you know, but still, but still, this is different. This is different. Uh, a lawyer for the Covington kids, Robert ba ba Barnes, explains the rules in this case. Because these are all private citizens, and in many cases, minors and kids, mm -hmm. uh, the, the law is that uh, it's saying anything false about them is libel, and you're, you don't have a defense of actual malice. It's all you have to prove is negligence. So a lot of these journalists uh, have been saying false statements about these kids, uh, false statements about the kids that are at the Lincoln Memorial, false statements about kids that were in various photographs related to the school, uh, slurring and libeling the entire school and all right. the alumni for the school. And all you have to prove is that they were negligent in doing so. And by this standpoint, by this point in time, it is clear that anyone who continues to lie and libel about these kids has done so illegally and can be sued for it. And, you know, they gave them a chance to apologize, which they didn't do. Obviously, they're going to stand on their First Amendment rights. This suit, though, is a big, big takedown of the Washington Post, okay? It says, uh, it, it called it the first and loudest media bully. Uh, it says, in a span of three days in January of this year, commencing on January 19th, the Post engaged in a modern day form of McCarthyism by competing with CNN and NBC, among others, to claim leadership of a mainstream and social media mob of bullies which attacked, vilified, and threatened Nicholas Sandman, an innocent secondary school child. And it goes on and says, uh, let me just find this. Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, it said it, they ignored basic journalist standards because it wanted to advance its well-known and easily documented biased agenda against President Donald J. Trump. So they are really going after the Post for being the New York, uh, the Washington Post. They are going after the Washington Post for being the Washington Post. Washington Post, where democracy dies in slavering hatred of Donald Trump. It, it, basically, they're saying this was part of the agenda, but this guy, this guy is an innocent kid, and he got caught in the crossfire while they were trying to take down the president. That's a really interesting lawsuit. 